This uh, jar is sealed. I used a uh, little normal little coffee jar. And there is very little movement of my uh, homemade radiometer in here. But uh, I'm gonna try to get in closer so you can see it. how it's moving a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm trying not to touch it because then that'll give it more movement than it really is getting. I hope my... It's just moving a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good. Now you're seeing it. It's moving in a different direction of my hand movement. Okay, good. I haven't touched this thing in minutes. Actually, it was moving slower after um, I touched it to put it in this kind of black... Um, this is kind of like a portable cooker. It's meant to be put with the grill, but I'm like, hey, this is completely black. So that way the light's going to hit it, make it a little bit warmer in here than it is out here, you know, because that's just cement, right? So um, I uh, made a homemade radiometer out of like um, a gum wrapper that I spray painted, and then the other side was um, uh, metallic, kind of a uh, tinfoil y kind of color. And this is sealed. Okay, but it's not the true low pressure environment of a radiometer. Like a radiometer should have n n almost a, a near vacuum kind of uh, ambient air. Wow, look at it go now. Okay, so uh, what's happening is it wasn't working without this thing. So without the black thing to make it hotter, in the area, it wasn't doing anything. Wow, it seems like it's picking up movement now. Can you see that? Okay, there. There we go. Oh, well, oh when I'm doing it, when I'm taping it, the light's kind of block. I'm blocking the light almost. That's probably making it. There we go, it's moving a little bit. You could see that clearly right there, it's moving a little bit. Okay, a couple, a couple, a couple of things that I didn't do, uh, didn't go as expected, right? Um, as you can see, see how I have like the silver veins on the left, and then the black sides on the right. Well, that's because I had it. I was, I was preparing it right side up, but then when I realized, oh, I'm gonna hang it, and then I'm like, oh well, it's gonna be going wrong direction um, because all the radiometers I've seen is uh, oh wow really going now all the radiometers I've seen are um, where the clockwise motion is where it goes like this with uh, black on the left uh, white or uh, silver on the right so you know, I mean, we're talking mega alpha stages here. What's the reason for this experiment? You're probably wondering if you're new to this. Um, I'm trying to see if it's scalable. Is a radiometer scalable? Bottom line, if it's scalable, you know, this could be big. If it's not scalable, no big deal. Learn a thing or two. So right here, I mean, I don't have anything set up. I mean, this is just basically a, um, this is like a, uh, basically a ridiculous like pan, right? I, I don't have any uh, mirror arrays. This isn't a proper toroidal shape. This isn't a proper um, uh, turbine, right? I mean, imagine a turbine with the properties of a radiometer. That could be huge, right? So um, I'm actually extremely excited. I've been waiting all year for it to get a little bit sunnier out. And, um, and this is the, I actually made this thing in um, before Christmas time, but it was so dark out and it didn't even make any sense. And then I wanted to do it with light as opposed to artificial heat because I felt like light would be better. And even this teeny bit of movement here is uh, definitely encouraging. I mean, I don't have the mirrors set up. I don't have it a proper toroidal shape. I don't have a parabolic set up. I don't have a parabolic focal point set up. All these things are like 
totally going against it. It's going in the wrong direction. Um, I'm using a string attached to a static thing that should actually be more like a ball and socket kind of arm where it's able to move freely without hitting a tension resistance. The only, the only resistance should be in um, friction from the uh, movement of an easy rotational thing. It shouldn't be, resistance shouldn't be based on a, um, a twisting. There shouldn't be any kind of twisting spring-like resistance. Because as it, as it moves more, you know, I, I use like, um, kind of like uh, glues and stuff to connect it all together. You know, the more it moves, the more there is kind of like a, a counter movement of it trying to unravel itself. So, um, I mean, yeah, no. now, now another thing that's interesting is, um, you, you know, you could say, okay, it's windy out, right? You could, I mean, I guess it's not that windy, but like, if you look at these plants, they're moving a little bit and you could be saying, okay, well, is the wind hitting this thing? causing that movement because kinetic impacts on the outside can make things happen. M my argument against that is that it was barely moving before I brought this thing out and it was still just as windy. It wasn't like I almost thought it was going to be a flop and then I'm like you know what let me bring my little uh, black pan out we'll see how it goes. So I'm definitely going to upload this I'm very excited. Um, I mean, this makes me want to open up Blender again and get get back into the 3D printing. I don't even think I'm going to need to get to that point just yet um, because I'm not really I'm not really sure where I'm going to get a, a proper toroidal type of shape there or what I'm going to use for the arm. I think the best move right now would be to see. Um, maybe comparing some temperatures and making a nice parabolic would be a good place to start. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I definitely got more in the uh, technological solutions section, so you can check out that for more, for more of uh, um, the experiments and just kind of questions that's been raised about this kind of stuff. Thanks again for watching, and then um, don't forget to subscribe to Overidon. Overidon TV um, on YouTube, or you can go to Overidon TV for. Um, checking out when I'm on Twitch, but I haven't been on Twitch that much later. So I think YouTube of Veridon TV is the best uh, way to get access to this information. Thank you. Bye-bye.